Okay, in this video we're going to move on to the multiplicity function for bosons. The previous video was the multiplicity function for classical particles and we are on tutorial number 13. So the first thing we need to ask ourselves is what is a boson? Bosons are identical. Because they are identical we should know at this stage that there is no limit on the, we'll say, we'll call it the occupancy of a state, A N C Y of a state. There can be no there is no limit in the occupancy. And also um, they are non-interacting. That's important. Sorry, I take that back. There's no limit in the occupancy. What am I saying? Because they're not interacting. That was a silly thing to say. The fact that they're identical reduces the multiplicity from the uh, from the distinguishable case to to quite a, or by quite a good bit. So anyway, we said for when we had when when we had distinguishable particles, the distinguishable when we had distinguishable particles, we first selected n sub s for the s state, and then we broke that down between the g sub s microstates. Right, that's what we did. And as a result, we had, so the, there is no as a result yet. So we said that the maximum multiplicity is n factorial. We know that. However, we saw that there are lots of different ways to, uh, to calculate or to get the same state. So remember we had a, b, c, and we could choose it 1, 2, 3, or 3, 1, 2, or whatever. So we found that there are actually n sub s factorial ways of getting the same state. So the maximum multiplicity reduced to n factorial, n factorial over the n sub s's factorial multiplied by each other. So this is to get the macroscopic description. Well, the first thing you need to ask yourself is, with identical particles, what changes? So let's say we pick four particles. Now we, you saw this, I did this in rule number six. But there's only one way of picking four particles that are identical. Because let's say I move these all to here, and move this guy around to here. It's the same state. So there, in this case, there are no longer n factorial different ways of choosing all of these states. There's only one way of choosing all of these states. So that means that n factorial becomes 1. What about the, multipli the multiples of the n sub s factorials? What about them? Well, each n sub s particles are identical. So we know there's only one way of choosing them. So the whole the, there's like instead of having a b c and then choosing a then b then c or c then b then a or whatever well, there's only one way of choosing it so the whole pi n sub s factorial also goes to one so the whole point is that the macroscopic for bosons is equal to one there's only one microscopic way or excuse me one macroscopic way of choosing the uh, choosing bosons there is no microscopic way now, remember that this was the macroscopic description for classical particles, and then we multiply by g sub s to the power of n sub s to get the microscopic description. So now we are going to get the microscopic description for bosons, which are identical but non interacting particles, and they can occupy any number of states. Any number of particles can occupy a state. And we did this in our rules as well. So, the answer, well, the, the answer, well, I won't, I'll just do it again, I suppose, just uh, just for completeness, I'll do it again. So we're going to put N1 into box 1, N2 into macro box 2, N sub S into macro box S, and then of that we're going to split that up into G1 boxes, and then we're going to put this into G2 boxes, and so on. This is going to be G sub S box. That's the way we're going to do it. But the problem is here is that we can put 
any number of these ends of S particles into any one of these. Okay? Now, with the classical particles, we just said, wow, it's G sub S to the N sub S. But there's actually a better way of looking at this. So let's just pick, I'm going to pick N sub 1. I'm just going to look at the N sub 1 particles going into G sub 1. Because they're identical. So here is, there's the first microstate, the second microstate, the third microstate, and the S microstate in macro box 1. So let's put in all our particles, whatever, whatever way we want. And the, the leap, or the change, or the view we need to do here is instead of looking at putting particles in boxes, let's look at the partitions between the boxes. This is partition 1, partition 2, this is partition G sub S minus 1. So that is. Alright, so the point is here, is if we look at the partitions only, and you can look at the video I did on this in the rules, I explained it in more detail. We're now after recasting the problem as two species. So now we're able to, we're able to say that we have n sub s particles species 1 plus g sub s minus 1 of species 2. Alright? Simple. Like I said, look at the rules if I'm going a bit quick. So now there's, well, what's the max, what's the maximum multiplicity? Well, that hasn't changed, that's still n factorial. But that's equal to n sub s plus g sub s minus 1 factorial. Now we need to take into account any of the duplicates. Well, they're identical particles, so there are n sub s du duplicates of the particles, and g sub s, or n sub s factorial, and then g sub s minus 1 factorial duplicates of the partitions. So that means, very simply, that the multiplicity for Bose-Einstein and this is just for one state. So for one, st for one macro state, it's n sub s plus g sub s minus 1 factorial divided by n sub s factorial also divided by g sub s minus 1 factorial. And that's for a single state. So to get it for all of the macro states, well, we just add in our big pi here. And this is our microscopic description, our microscopic multiplicity for bosons. Alright, so like I said, you should look at the the rules. Let me go back and see which rule it is. It's, um, I think it's rule 6. Yeah, it's rule number 6. If you go look at rule number 6, that it'll explain that in a bit more detail. So thanks for watching. Please pass it on to your friends. Subscribe to my channel. And if you're in a good mood, please click an ad.